What's up folks, Simulation for the Nation here with another weekly mod review. Today we are going to be bringing you just a couple of the best mods we've seen from the last few days of the week here. It is Friday, so at the time of recording this, we are expecting still one more uh, a bunch of mods to come out for Friday. But we'll waste no more time because we want to have a quick look at the, uh, some of the really nice quality of mods that have arrived this week here. We're going to be looking at three. Uh, we're going to be looking into the vehicle maintenance mod. We're going to be looking into the Stewart's uh, PS18 trailer and the BM Volvo LM620 as well. So, we also may have a quick cheeky look at the contractor mod as well there. Uh, to start with though, we're going to have a look at the beast that is the uh, the BM Volvo. Now, first of all, we're going to get back to this in a moment. That's a noisy old thing. Let's have a look at the BM Volvo then. So, this is... This is another gem by the North Modern Company. So you already know that we're in for some uh, really, really high quality, strong uh, products here. And this is no exception. It is a it is a rear steel loader. Uh, it has plenty of different configurable options there for tires as well. We've got a few on the go here. Check out these wide boys. Look at those things. How incredible are those? Uh, layered with details that you can always come to expect with these uh, bits of equipment. Uh, and then it comes with two lovely uh, bit, uh, attaches. One uh, pallet fork, which is extendable, so you can double the length so you can carry twice as many pallets. Uh, and also a, a bucket there as well. It can be two or four wheel drive. It has a maximum speed of around about 26 kilometers an hour and 67 horsepower. Uh, favorite features of it for myself here. First of all, the rear end looks like a face. Love that. Always love to see it. Uh, the chains on the tires are great there. This one has the dirt texture applied. And as you can see, it does look rather good, uh, I do find. Uh, and then as we jump on in, it is uh, you do get in from the front. There goes the animation as well, which we always like to see. They're not absolute beaut, but more importantly... How about that for a starting sound, huh? That is awesome. Really, really cool. Now, what we're going to do is this... Pull ourselves back, and obviously, you can see that we have animations as well. So, you've got the oh, I'm crashing into a trailer. Uh, you've got the foot for throttle and the brake, but also the uh, the directional control as well, which is kind of neat. Really do like to see that one. Uh, if we come on outside here, we've got a very lovely uh mechanism here for the uh, for the lifting arm on the front. Uh, as you can see, just look at the detail on the on the movement of the rams there. I think that is fantastic there, and then you'll tip a ram as well. Look at even the hydraulic pipes flexing a little bit as you bend it. This brilliant to see, really, really nice. As we come on it into the store. Uh, it is under wheel loaders. Uh, we'll have a look at it here. You can see again, just so many different configurable options, which I always love to see. Uh, you can go for you change your tires from 640s to 620s. Chains on them all as well, which is pretty cool. Round fenders on the front. We uh, we went for the big square chunky boys as well, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, and you can put some forestry guards all across it as well if you want to. Uh, but yeah, just a very very pleasing machine. Aesthetically, it's great. It's absolutely very. It's beautiful. Very pleasing on the eye. Lovely sound to it. Nice little powerhouse as well there. So yeah, really, really cool. I'm going to park this out the way over here. Because we are now finished with that. That is the North Modern. It is available as always on all platforms. As you've come to expect once again by North Modern Company. This is the BM Volvo LM620-640. And moving on to the the big elephants in the room. The uh, Stewart trailers here. This is a familiar old favorite, really. An old friend, if you will, for the FS uh, franchise. This is a, a trailer, which, correct me if I'm wrong, it may be an FS15, but definitely 17. Uh, beautiful trailers. They've been uh, refurbished and uh, remodeled by Arm Team. And yeah, available across all platforms once again. We have a beautiful set of trailers here. And I think really the best thing we can do, once we have a little bit of a look around here, and obviously we can see we've got color configurable options there as well. I quite like this, this... Uh, this is not the Agco grey, but I, I quite like this grey here with the red and blue uh, uh, decals going across it. It really does look quite good. As we come around, again, just the nice detail that you would come to expect. Uh, this is the original grain body version. There's two different grain body versions. This one and also the uh, option with the pain in here and the uh, more of like a whole uh, a, a root crop trailer. As I, I would know it, but it's still a grain trailer nonetheless. And of course, we got the silage trailer over there as well. Uh, we have got full rear lights on there as well as beacons. Uh, so we are looking pretty good. A nice little LED be beacon there. You'll love to see that. Uh, and yeah, full configurable options in the, involved there as well. The uh, grain trailer comes with a capacity of around 23 tons or 23,000 liters. And the silage trailer here comes in at a whopping 37,800 liters. 
But you're going to get a pretty good load on the go there. Uh, as we come into the stall, let's have a look at it under the tipper section as always. And there we go. So, as I mentioned, that this is the version that we have at the moment. But if you go green body 2, this is the version that I really do like, actually. I think this is, looks uh, fantastic. Uh, really does. And then you got our silage sides there as well. You can choose to configure if you'd like mud guards on there as well in the front there, which look pretty neat. You can change the tires from Michelin's to trail bulks. Uh, and you can also put liveries on the side if you want to put a flag on there as well. You got the option to main color choices gives you the full palette there, so you can really try and configure those alongside your uh, your fleet of machines. Personally, no, I kind of like just sticking with the with the traditional blue there, uh, in my opinion. So yeah, ultimately a very nice trailer. ARM uh, team have done a really nice job of remodeling a lot of their machines of late. The Wild Gabela was a really good addition. These trailers look fantastic there too, uh, and also the I believe the Chieftain was led by them. The uh, the bales, the square bale loader. Really, really nice uh, models to see. They're absolutely uh, staggering. So it's great to have them, great to have them back in the game as well, though, because we've been waiting for these to come for a while. There have been a few different converts and iterations out there, but never as good as the main thing. And I think this is a true testament to that one. Moving on, we're going to be having a little look at a couple of scripts in game. And to do that, we need this friend over here. This is our in game uh, Fent MT1150. This one is, I believe. We're going to jump on into it because we're going to look at the vehicle maintenance mod uh, and to do that we need a vehicle that requires maintenance and lo and behold this one does i put 45 hours onto the clock here as you can see there you go now you didn't start properly because of the uh, the service there it has a maintenance required logo, logo which is pretty cool let's see if it starts again shall we nice Ooh, that's interesting. I like that. It, it struggles to get it started there. Nice. Really do like that. So, as part of the, this has been out for a while there, but this is a severe, a bit of an update really to the mod. So, a couple of things that this um, update has brought with it. Uh, you now have three different pallets that you can purchase. Now, these pallets have the same function. They all act as a service trigger. However, the time in which it takes to complete the uh, this service changes. And the best, the, the best way to kind of explain this is just to jump on in. So, this is the first one that will take approximately one hour in game to service your tractor. You can then go up to four hours, uh, up to eight hours, and then 24 hours, as well as 48 hours, which is pretty neat there. So, depending upon what kind of level of service you're going to put it in for, it can take a little bit longer. If it's like a, uh, a 20 or a 50 hour service for a brand new machine, it's not going to take too long. You're just going to do the oil. If it's going to be anything bigger, you might want to have to do a complete overhaul. You could lose your tractor for a day there which is kind of a, a really neat little uh, option to add in. Some of the additions that we've seen here lately as well, uh, the most recent version has a few little errors fixed in that. But what this will also allow you to do here is it shows different issues with the tractor there throughout, which is kind of cool. So some of the things that, uh, that we may see happening, for example, would be uh, engines may stall or may not start, as we just saw there. That was kind of a, a nice little demonstration. And also, if you'll find that you're, you put your tractor under too much of a severe load, it's going to stall out. It's going to cut out on you there, which is kind of, uh, I don't know, I really do like that idea. I think that's a nice little touch there. Uh, you're just not going to have as an efficient engine without doing anything to it. Uh, you can do the maintenance at any time now. It's not a set time where you can do it there. And you do not need a new game save to install this, which is really kind of neat. I do like that an awful lot. So uh, lots, of lot, lots and lots of different configurable options or, or different features, I think is the best way to describe it. Uh, so now what I would suggest is uh, if you do download it from the mod hub, it is going to be PC only because it is a script here, but make sure you give the blaster and give it a good try. We're going to have a bit of a, a, a crack on. Let's see if it actually starts again for us here. Ooh, it did. There you go. Uh, what we're going to do is pull it up to... Oh, let's just make it nice and simple. Uh, pull it up towards this pallet here and it's a service vehicle go left control m and then you can see maintenance completed in one hour and zero minutes there so it is doing its thing we're just going to leave it cost us 26 and a half grand to service that good lord but hey we jump back in and it tells us what we're looking at there so it's a nice way just to kind of have something different a little bit more uh, a little bit more immersion there really i think it's always really good uh, and so yeah, this is this is the vehicle maintenance mod, and it is by uh, Fervit, and it's available for PC and Mac only at the moment. There, but yeah, definitely give it a go and download it. I think it really does add a lot. Now for the final one, we're going to look at a bit of a contractor mod there, see if we can get that to work. So to do that, we need to go and jump down to the field. 
All right, folks, well, we are back down in our own field here, field here. You may remember this from the Irmo Diablo plow by the SMI modern team that we started. This is our test field, really. A couple of passes with the plow up there. We're going to have a little bit of a look at the Coal Contractors mod. Now, this is a mod, another script by Royal Modern. Uh, is available for PC and Mac, as always. But what we need to do is see if we can activate it. So it should have been uh, all set up. And here we go. Left control left shift and c brings up the menu so this is what we have uh you can choose we're obviously in the field you can choose which fields you own which fields you want to uh, complete the contract in and these are the guys who will do it they give you your convenience fee give you the, uh, the job charge and it'll give you the total amount that you're going to be paying there now uh you can change between the different options you've got plowing you've got cultivation subsoil and lime and sowing selling uh selling's a nice one there Actually, that's kind of cool. You'll be able to sell various different bits of fruit, uh, which is kind of neat. But if we look down through the list here, it'll give you all the different contractors there. I think I'm going to go for... Let's go for Deborah. Uh, so we don't even feel... Well, this is field 24 that we are in here these days. So let's just go to 24. There's no contracts available. So we'll guess we'll go for field one. Field one. Deborah wants to... We're going to... Let's plow a field first, I think, Deborah. Let's not get ahead of ourselves here. Uh, Deborah's not available. Let's use Eric because you always trust a man with a beard like that. Uh, so we're going to choose that one. You're going to sign the contract there. Are you sure you want to accept this contract? Yes. And it looks like we'll do the job within 29 hours. Okay, so all we're going to do is wait for that to be completed. Uh, it looks like we paid the original fee. Field one is this guy here. And we should see that one completed very soon there. What it does. It brings a little bit more realism. We, everyone on PC can currently use the Easy Developer Console, uh, which is great. It allows you to press F11 and go in and change a field. If I do this and then do this, I can go in and change a field to whatever my heart's content. But it's not quite the same. It's a bit of a cheat tool, really. Whereas uh, having a, a contract that you can physically get in to do it, whilst, yes, we probably won't get the... You won't actually see anything physically happening. You do get that kind of realistic approach that, hey, I have to call the contractors in and they're going to do this and not going to be done straight away because we're waiting for them to arrive that kind of thing really do like that i think it's a lovely little addition so hopefully it's going to work really well moving forward the do like i mentioned there, the jobs that you can currently do with it are plowing cultivating sowing subsoil and lime spreading and selling of goods so a nice little plethora of things to keep you keep you busy with really uh, and all those jobs that you can never really want to get around to yourself it's it's always nice to see uh, for right now though that is going to be it we're going to leave you as we're stood stranded in the middle of this field here i hope you have enjoyed this weekly update of all the the mods available uh throughout the week if you haven't you've yet to do so don't forget to hit that like button subscribe to simulation for the nation as always and we will see you across the weekend with some more content from our favorite roleplay series until then though folks do stay safe enjoy what you're doing as always and we'll catch you later